One of the beautiful things I love the most about yin yoga is that we focus on target areas, which means we don't have to master a shape. So everybody in the room doesn't have to work on their sleeping swan or everybody in the room doesn't have to work on their headstand. <laughs> it's focused on body regions. And so with that in mind, you know, how do you like to target your glutes? You know, great big muscles at the back of the pelvis, around the side of the pelvis. There are a few different ways to get into them. And each person in the room is going to have a preference for how they like to do it according to what they feel and how, how comfortable the knees are in that shape. So here's a couple of different ways that I like to offer in a class for people to find their best fit for targeting their glutes. And the first one is just starting in a simple square cross-legged position. So I'm gonna start here with my left leg in front. And this ends up being a forward fold. So what can happen sometimes is if people come into a really sort of diamond or diagonal tucked in cross-legged seat, the ankles and the calves can get a bit compressed and a bit squeezed. So I find it useful to help people play with initially wiggling the feet forward so the, the shape has a bit more space. And then to see what happens when you bring the body forward. So because I've got my left leg in front, I'm hoping that this will kind of make the left glute sing a little more than the right, but both will probably get sensation. People can shift their body a little bit to the left. They can shift their body a little bit to the right. They might end up using a block to rest their head against. And this might be a great fit. This might be really strong. And then there'll be other people that go, yeah, that doesn't really do it for me. What else you got? <laughs> The next thing that's quite easy to then transfer into is deer pose. So you're already kind of halfway there. If you've got your left leg in front, you could just lean to your left a little bit, release your right leg and bring it back behind you. So both knees are a little bent. And then we come forward again. So when people come forward into deer pose, you know, everyone's hip bones are uniquely shaped. Some people will come forward and feel a real pinching on the inside. So there's more compression going on. So just like your forward fold, the, uh, option one, you could move a bit over to the left and kind of you know, move laterally and hopefully get more sensation happening in the outer part of the leg. But you could also move to the right. That might do it for some people. And then if you're sieving around and deer pose is just not where it's at for you, a little bit of a straightening out of the back leg a rearranging of the upper body until you find the sweet spot or the take a deep breath in spot, we'll take you to sleeping swan. And it might be somewhere around there again that you find, ah, oh, yeah, that's where I'm filling in my glutes. This is good for me. I'm gonna drop in here and spend some time. Now, sometimes I find people uh, come to class and they've had a knee injury. The tricky thing about targeting your glutes is that you can't do it without some kind of knee flexion. Try it and you'll see what I mean. And so if someone's very nervous about that strong flexion position in their knee coming forward, whether it's cross-legged or deer or sleeping swan, I'll often invite them to come over to the wall and do what I call um, thread, the, thread the leg needle. And if there is a lot of um, kind of nervousness about the knees, then I will make sure they start a little bit away from the wall. So if they come over to the wall, I've got about a foot's distance between the wall and my hip. And then they're gonna gently swing their feet up onto the wall with the knees bent. So there's still that foot's distance between their body and the wall. Feet are up resting on the wall. And then we can just take a bit of a tentative check-in and see how this knee might feel if we lightly lift the foot off the wall and then bring that ankle over the right knee and that might be plenty to help them get a little bit of access to that left glute. You can always bring your hands up to support that knee. You could always just push the knee slightly away, that's fine. Now if they felt like they needed a little bit more, if you start to peel the heel off the wall here, you're gonna drive the leg a bit closer to the body. And often this is a really good alternative for people that have had knee issues. 
And when the time frame is done, they could simply take the, take the foot off the opposite knee. They could take the legs up the wall and rest here in their rebound in a Viparita Karani position with the heels resting against the wall. So there's many different ways that you can access your glutes. It doesn't really matter what the shape is. It's much more important that you are tuning into the sensations that you're getting and you find an access route for you that serves you. And then in any yin class that you go to, if they're doing a posture that targets the glutes, well, you might have your go-to shape. You might just find that it's always sleeping swan. We're not mastering shapes. We're just getting access into the body.